It was a perfect day for a Midwest Oktoberfest, as I wandered the back roads along the Minnesota River and checked out the falls in Ramsey Park and Redwood Falls, German lineage farmers around the Morgan area were out in their fields reaping the usual fall bounty. Since the Vikings weren't playing worth a damn, also as usual, it was a perfect day to be outside on any pretext. Or if you were a retired farmer of German ancestry, inside. This was the day the City and Country Tavern in Morgan, Minnesota held its twice yearly concertina jam. This year's frolic, just half an hour from New Ulm, the mecca of concertina manufacture and expertise, drew at least a dozen of the junior buttons and bellows instruments. it was like the Hofbrau House in Munich, Germany. Not one backup Umpa band, but two. And Hingle concertinas aplenty, both by the famous Christy Hingle himself and his successor in New Prague. We have a fair number of Hingle concertinas around here. This is like a Stradivarius convention, isn't it? Yeah, of course, Christy was from this area, so that's where most of them came from. There's, there's a lot of uh, other ones, but then, then there's the new Hengels, too, that are made in New Prague. Ah. So we've got, the, we've got the old ones, and then we've got uh, Jerry Menar bought the rights uh, to, from Christie to make the boxes, and so he makes them now. So some of the ones are brand new ones. Okay. One says Hengel, and one says Hengels. And the Hengels are the brand new ones. Yep. Not just one concertina per band, but a trio of them, complete with that <laughs> made popular by Whoopi John Wilfert's Concertina Orchestra four score years ago. There was a complaint that one of the Oompa bands was too loud. A polka band? Too loud? Come on, country bands? Yeah. Rock bands? Certainly. Polka bands? They can't be too loud. Nor can those falls on the Redwood River. And how is that for tying two things together that have absolutely nothing to do with each other? <laughs> 